Yo, DWA, January 1st, January 1st, January 1st, first day of the new year, first day of the resolutions, first day of working hard for most of you. So, what what challenges have you given yourself? What resolutions have you given yourself? What plans have you got? Uh, me personally, uh, me and my gym bros at the minute, we are doing the 75 day hard challenge. So, two workouts a day. All of us done a five kilometre run this morning. We didn't realise how shit our cardio was until we did it. Even though we fight, or we we just fight ready for cardio. Doesn't help with running. I thought we'd learn. So maybe do if you do football, you saw it. Obviously, if you do a lot of sports that require running. But if you do any type of martial art, make sure you're running as well. Make sure you're doing it as well. Sticking to your meal plan. I don't have to for the challenge, but personally, I've done no takeaways, so I'm sticking strictly to home cooked meals, strictly to the meal plan I've given myself. By doing this, it'll build me the discipline of not eating out as much, saving more money. Obviously, with me moving at the end of the year, I don't want to spend most of my money on takeaways all year. I do want to save a bit more. Granted, I learn quite a bit anyway while I'm out there and while I'm doing it. But don't hurt, don't hurt to have a bit more money when you're out there, does it? Live life a bit more happier. Reading ten pages of a book a day. For some that's easy. For some that's hard. Obviously, reading it's very critical. It helps build your intelligence. It helps knowledge, it helps open your mind, it helps make you think. Not a lot of people like reading, a lot of people don't read books that actually help them, a lot of them read to like fiction books or action, dramas, anything like that. Uh, me personally I do read entrepreneur, self-improvement books, Life of a Stoic Man, any kind of book like that. Similarly because it helps you think, it helps you open your eyes, it helps you realise how you're meant to be. So reading 10 pages of a book a day, that's that's an interesting one we have. Drinking a gallon of water. One of the other ones. A gallon of water is about 4 litres. I normally drink 2.5. So, I guess we'll see how we'll look with the um, extra 1.5 litres. Wonder if that'll help improve the weight, help, help improve muscle mass. It'll be interesting, to say the least. I guess we'll find that one out. Pretty interesting. I do need to work on my camera personality, I guess. Get myself out there. Make myself seem more energised, you know. I do need to work on that this year. Obviously, I'm getting better at talking to a camera. I just need to bring out the me, as they say. But yeah, that's it. That's pretty good. It's a good challenge. If you want to participate in the 75 day hard challenge, please do. Please send me your progress pips. pips. Please send me the workouts you're doing each day. Please like show me what you're doing, how you're doing it, and show me the results you get from it. So if you do decide to do the challenge, go for it. We're doing a challenge, we're going to be doing a challenge every month to help gym progress, to help stay disciplined, to help have that competition. So like I'll say to most of you, have competition, have people around you that will push you. Right, when I woke up this morning, one of them's already done their 5k run. So I've got an up and go, right, well, after now I've got to do mine. I now have to do my 5 km run because he's done it. I can't lose. That's the mindset you should have. You should have people around you pushing you, telling you that you need to go and do that run because they've already done theirs. Have that competition. Have them people that strive to be better and that strive to have a good team around them. When I look up at the people around me, I respect them, but I also compete with them. Because I don't want to lose. I don't want to be bottom of the team. Your team is as strong as its weakest link. And I refuse to be that weakest link. Right? And so should you. You should not want to be that weakest person. So to keep competing, keep aiming for the best, keep doing what you have to do to become number one in your friend group, in your family, in your town, in your city, even in your country. Do what you have to do 
to compete and be number one. I will say it to everybody. Competition for a man will always keep you going. Life is a competition. You're in constant comp competition with everybody around you. Every single man in the world you are in competition with. Are you winning that competition? Probably not. Right? So what are you going to do to change it? What are you going to do to make sure you win? To make sure you're the best? To make sure you're number one? I tell you right now, you won't be number one, but at least that'll be me. Right, I will be every single fucking one of you. But if you can try, if you can try and do a second, you can try to stay close to my level. I'll respect you. A lot of people in the world will respect you. And you will be successful. But how are you going to compete with me? Are you going to learn from me? Are you going to learn from somebody else? Are you going to create a plan? How are you going to find a way to compete? Competition is really good, you know. If you look at the people around you and you think they're doing better than you, you strive to do better. You strive to do better than them. A lot of men, when they walk down the street, they look at a person and they think, I can beat him in a fight. So why don't you work hard so when you look at someone on the street, you can go, I can destroy him. It won't even be a fight. Sure, you can beat someone in a fire in your head, but can you do it in real life? Can you actually destroy someone so much that they don't even land a punch on you? One punch knockout. Are you strong enough to do that? Probably not. Right. Every man has the in instinct, the genes in him, where they think they're better. They compete. They look at people on the street and think, I'm better than him. He's got better style than me. He might be richer than me. You're always looking at other men. A lot of people suppress the emotion. But there are a few of us that live on it. That think, okay, shit, he's got better clothes than me. How can I make that money to dress better than him? Oh, he's got a nicer car than me. How can I make money to have a nicer car than him? Oh, shit, he's huge. How can I get that being strong? You need to have that full process in your head. You need to think how. How can I do this? How can I do that? How can I beat him? You need that competition. Imagine like your best friend buys a Porsche GT3 RS. Meanwhile, you're sitting there in a full Fiesta. He's just looking down on you. He's like, yeah, yeah, I've got this new 400 grand car. You've got a five grand Fiesta. I wouldn't want to be your friend. Imagine I had a Porsche. And you've got a fiesta. I refuse to be friends with someone in a fiesta. But why, why can your friend do better but you can't? Think about it. Think about the competition you have. Think about the people you need to be better than. Think about how proud you can make your family when you can buy your mum that house. When you can buy your mum her dream car. When you can buy your own dream car, your own house. When you can move to a country. When you can have freedom. Think about all the things you can have. If you work hard and you compete. A lot of you are not even at the start line yet. Get to the start line and run towards that finish line. Work hard, be better, stay in competition. DWA out.